there's a tour for our guests to go through the garden and they can see how everything is done. And our gardeners are there every day, so they're always uh, ready to help people yeah, learn. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's part of it's written into our DNA here at uh, Tree Bones is that we want to be inspired and inspired by all who come through here. Hello friends and welcome to the last part or part three of this three-part interview with John Handy. He is part owner of Tree Bones Resort, which is an incredibly beautiful, very unique and sustainable resort located in Big Sur, California. So please enjoy this interview if you want to watch part one and part two. They are linked to below in the description on YouTube and enjoy. Also, if you're enjoying these videos, please like them and subscribe to my channel on YouTube because it really does help get the word out and I really appreciate it. Thanks. What would you say is your favorite way to connect with nature? No, there's no better way in my mind of connecting with nature than getting out of your car mm -hmm. and hiking up a trail. Yes. And then just uh, taking the time it takes to get deep into the woods or up on top of a mountain and... Um, and just enjoying what you see along the way, mm -hmm. as well as when you get there, just enjoying a beautiful view or a beautiful mountain stream. And there's a lot of opportunities for that in Big Sur for us even mm -hmm. as people that live there, but also for our guests. But uh, all over the mountains behind us, they had discovered gold in the 1890s. So they built trails all over the place, and they're still there. Some of them are wagon trails, some of them are horse trails, but you could walk every day and never go in the same place twice yeah. uh, for years and years. And uh, when you get, everything seems like it's uphill both ways. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like you walk uphill and you walk uphill and go home. <laughs> but when you get wherever you get, you, there's vistas that are unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And uh, just recently, uh, my wife celebrated her uh, 60th birthday. Oh, and we, the, the kids uh, planned this picnic way up the top of this mountain. Oh. And uh, we hiked up there. And they'd set up these tables, and it's just a 45-minute hike, even if you don't have anything. Mm -hmm. They hiked all these tables and food up there and surprised oh, her with that. And then uh, we have never done this before, but I, I had a helicopter land up there and pick us up and take us to this beautiful resort uh, inland. But wow. we flew along the coast on a beautiful day like this, oh and that was amazing. But when we flew inland through this thing called the Ventana Window, um, the part you can never get to in Big Sur is even more amazing. It's like the most beautiful land you've ever seen. And um, that experience was something I'll never forget. And it makes me want to dig deeper. Yeah. And, you know, find out what's back there. But it's, it's discovering uh, a part of the world that people just don't get to. Right. How do you try to live in a way that you're being conscious of nature and protecting nature? Or well, what do you think? Well, for us, it's um, it's been fun mm -hmm. because uh, two two reasons. One, new things are invented all the time uh, that makes it easier and better to be environmentally conscious. So one True. of the main things is uh, LED light bulbs. Mm -hmm. You know, no one wants to stick a light bulb in that's bright blue and ugly, mm -hmm. and that's the way LED light bulbs used to be a long time ago. Now they're warm and beautiful, and they have some of the better best light you can get. Mm -hmm. And so it's not only environmentally friendly change all of our bulbs to LEDs, but it's also pretty and it's uh, practical. And I think when I discover things like that, that's the best thing. Um, having an organic garden, it's not an inexpensive way to get vegetables, but the vegetables taste better and, um, you know, it's inspirational to our guest. So that's something we just do, not out of economic reasons, but because it's the right thing to do and it's it, it makes sense. And then... Um, so I'm looking for new technologies all the time. I've changed oh. all the pumps at Tree Bones to be, uh, um, you know, more environmentally friendly. And um, uh, just the way we generate our electricity with uh, mm -hmm. micro turbines and solar power. And, yeah, and uh, renewable energies. And... We, we reuse the exhaust to heat water. Beautiful. You know? <laughs> so for me, it's, it's like every day is a new hope and a new invention for technology to be applied to what we do but also just our lifestyle and what we do and it, it and little things count you know like uh we changed the uh, stir sticks for coffee to 
to vermicelli noodles. You yeah. Know, it's such exactly. a tiny thing, but you eliminate either a wood or a plastic stir stick. Right. And what's really nice about having a resort that you do that with is that you inspire people to go and take that other places. They use that at other resorts or use it at their home, and it spreads. That's yes. the most beautiful thing in the world. It spreads to other people. I love that. <laughs> so people have built their own gardens, their own compost Where's bins. the garden here? You have, so you have we have a big garden, um, and it's got a greenhouse, and it grows almost all of our salads. It grows tomatoes, squash, peppers, um, That's so and kale, and everything like that. And we do it in a sustainable way. We use, It's all organic, and we use uh, compost. Um, some of the compost goes directly to chickens that we have on site. We have 20 um, in-house chickens nice. that have a wonderful life, and they eat all the scraps. Their main goal really is to eat up all the scraps and give us uh, great fertilizer okay. for the garden. Mm -hmm. And then the garden uses compost, and then it's grown organically and sustainable. And then it's, there's a... There's a tour for our guests to go through the garden and they can see how everything is done. And our gardeners are there every day, so they're always... Uh, Ready to help people yeah, learn. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's part of it's written into our DNA here at uh, Tree Bones is that we want to be inspired and inspired by all who come through here. So. Wow. Thank you so much for meeting okay. with me, well, too. Well, my pleasure. It's <laughs> a delightful surprise. Yeah. Hello, and I hope you enjoyed that last part of the three-part interview with Tree Bones Resort part owner, John Handy. I know that I was personally so, so inspired by speaking with him in the way that they run their business and their mentality in running a business on making sure that they are never doing anything to hurt the earth. I hope that more businesses adopt their practices and use renewable energies, grow their own food and their own organic garden, and so much more. So thank you again for meeting with me, John. Also, please follow the links in the description below on YouTube to check out Tree Bones Resort online at their own website and to read up on all the amazing things that they do. And hopefully you'll get some time to stay there or check out Big Sur and enjoy nature always. Okay, bye. Thank you.